Okay, so last video we looked at bills on how to calculate them. Then we're going to go on to another type of real life situation where math is used. Basically in cooking ingredients. Uh, quite often uh, a lot of us will go and uh, uh, cook recipes for cakes or meals. And if you don't, I suggest you try it because cooking can be marvellous and... Uh, uh, satisfying when you come out with the end result even if it does disappear within 10 minutes but uh, onto the maths a lot of the recipes you have from say a magazine or a book or the internet tell you that the recipe is for four people when you might want it for two or for ten or so on so how do we actually convert it so by here i've got an example what happens if we have a recipe for three people but we want to cook it for ten people so what we've got here is ingredients for three cupcakes. We actually want ten. And it's telling us, and by the way, this doesn't give you three cupcakes. I don't know this because it's probably a big blob. But uh, 300 milligrams of flour, one egg, 60 millilitres of milk and a quarter of a pound of butter. Now, don't worry too much about the units. You'll actually be doing those when you come to do um, measurements. For now, we're just worried about the numbers. We need to get this to be enough for 10 rather than for 3. So the first thing I'm going to do is, as I said, forget about the units. And then I'm going to divide it, each one of those by 3. If I'd have had a res recipe for 5 cupcakes, I would have divided by 5. If it would have been for 10 cupcakes, I would have divided by 10. But the starting point was that I had recipe for 3 cupcakes. So by dividing each of these amounts by three, I've now actually got a recipe for one cupcake. In other words, 100 milligrams of flour, a third of an egg, 20 millilitres of milk and a twelfth of a pound of butter. If you're not sure about how to do the quarter divided by three, I suggest you go back. Have a look at the pre-GSTC uh, videos where it talks about fractions and that can, and the GCSE uh, videos about fractions, and that can um, help you uh, to understand how I calculated the twelfth at the bottom. And the next thing then, because I want 10 cupcakes, I've got to multiply each one of them by 10. I've got the ingredients for one cupcake, so if I multiply it by 10, I've got the ingredients for 10 cup cupcakes. So uh, 100 times 10 gives me 1,000. A third times 10 gives me 10 thirds. 20 times 10 gives me 200. And 1 twelfth times 10 gives me 10 twelfths. So we've now got the ingredients for 10 cupcakes. Remember, if I'd have, say, wanted 8 cupcakes, I would have multiplied it by 8. If I'd have wanted 9 cupcakes, I would have uh, multiplied it by 9, and so on. So it's 1,000 grams of flour, 10 thirds of eggs, 200 millilitres of milk, and 10 twelfths of butter. But we're not quite done yet. First of all, we don't put it down as 10 thirds of eggs. Uh, we're going to put it down, uh, we're going to convert it, and have a look at converting uh, improper or top-heavy fractions to mixed numbers. The video on that will show you how I just did that uh, change, that conversion. But the 10 thirds becomes 3 and 1 third eggs. And then the butter becomes, we simplify the fraction to become 5 sixths of butter and there we have it the ingredients some exams might actually want you to put down four eggs because you can't have a third of an egg so um, you would need four others would be happy with this I would probably put down the three and a third but you'll need four eggs for the recipe and that's how you uh, convert uh, the ingredients to the number of things that you want, number of quantities or number of products that you want.